Hi everyone and welcome. Today I want to talk about the dangers of conversing with a narcissist. Because whether we like it or not, narcissists seem to be gifted with the art of persuasion or what some might call the gift of gab, which is the ability to speak easily and to persuade other people with your words. I'm not saying only a narcissist has the gift of gab. So if you have that gift, you are not necessarily a narcissist. But what I am saying is that all narcissists seem to have this gift. So because of this gift of the gab, narcissists are able to speak easily and are able to persuade other people with their words. What does it mean to persuade? According to Cambridge Dictionary, it is to make someone do or believe something by giving them a good reason to do it or by talking to that person and making them believe it. The key words we keep hearing are words, speaking and talking. Narcissists know how to talk, even those who don't talk much. When they do, they have no problem making themselves understood and getting the desired outcome. Narcissists can talk their way out of many tight situations. They can talk people into doing things they don't usually do or simply get someone to do something that they want them to do. Narcissists can be very persuasive. This gift, so to speak, is what has trapped many innocent victims in their toxic web of lies. With their words, they can convince you that they love you, that they care, that they will never hurt you, or that they have never cheated or lied. The tongue is a very deadly weapon in the mouth of a narcissist. With their words, they are able to deceive, manipulate, gaslight, and abuse. But also with their words, they can charm and persuade people into believing what they want them to believe. With their art of persuasion, they get jobs, promotions, general success, and relationships. If you give the narcissist a chance to speak or express themselves with the written word to justify something they did wrong, I can assure you they will present a long-winded explanation that may seem logical, but at the same time very mind-bending and almost true that just about anyone could be convinced of what they are trying to say. To outsiders, the narcissist can appear charming, well-spoken or articulate. They can give you an answer at the drop of a hat. They are quick on their feet when it comes to sprouting the right words at the right time to the right people. It's a skill which can be beneficial but with the narcissist, they use it for all the wrong reasons and it's usually to rid themselves of blame or manipulate others into trusting them. The narcissist's tongue is filled with poison, so even if what they are saying seems to be good, it is not. Words have life, they have power, and it's very important to know who you are taking advice from or who is speaking into your life. Because narcissists can talk, and even though what they are saying might sound good, the fact that it is not coming from a good place and it's not genuine will make those words of no effect or have the full power that they could have had. Also, what I have realized is that many narcissists love public speaking. Apart from the attention that they get, they seem to know the effect that they can have on people when they are given the permission to speak. And that is why they are drawn to being public speakers, motivational speakers, gurus, pastors, those kinds of authoritative positions where they can influence people. Because they seem to know that if they can get someone to listen to them, 
then they have a chance to win them and convince them. And they don't even have to be in a position of influence. Narcissists do it on a daily basis with everyone around them. This is how they turn people against us. This is how they win friends and influence people by simply using their gift of gab. They talk their way into people's lives, pretending to be something they are not. The more you listen to a narcissist speak and entertain their fallacies, the more you are opening up yourself to being entranced because it seems like the narcissist is able to not only charm people, but put them under some sort of spell. When they want to, they can speak words that are soothing to your ears and make you put your defenses down. The other troubling thing is that narcissists enjoy the challenge of persuading. They enjoy convincing others to do or believe what they want them to. It's a major power trip to the narcissist when they are able to persuade people. It increases their confidence, boosts their ego, etc. When it comes to the narcissist achieving their goals, they are willing to pull out all the stops to do this. And their number one tool is using that gift of persuasion. And they don't give up easily. Narcissists can be very persistent, so no small amount of resistance is going to deter the narcissist. So not only do you need to be firm with a narcissist, but you need to be consistent. And if possible, let your interactions with them be short and to the point. Narcissists are always up to something, so it's best to avoid them and do the no contact where possible. But if you can't, as it's not always doable, keep your conversations to a minimum. I went into detail as to how to deal with narcissists that you can't get rid of in this video, so please be sure to check it out. When it comes to arguing with a narcissist, this can be frustrating, overwhelming, and emotionally taxing. And it's because the narcissist's goal is to win the argument. It doesn't matter if they are blatantly in the wrong, they see it as a chance to demonstrate their persuasive techniques and convince you that you are the one in the wrong and not them. The last thing I want to address is that narcissists know how to draw people into a conversation. They would start by asking, how are you, but not really caring for an answer, because that is just the bait to get the conversation going. We need to learn to answer narcissists in a way that will at the same time shut them up. Because not only are they good at persuading people to do and believe certain things, but they also know how to draw information out of people. The information a narcissist gets from you will surely be used against you. But what we can see is that the power of influence that a narcissist has with the skill of persuasion is mainly used to benefit them and their selfish desires while at the same time destroy the lives of others around them. And the narcissist knows that all they need is an opportunity to speak, to set their plans in motion. As a result, conversing with a narcissist is risky business because they cannot be trusted. When a narcissist enters a conversation with someone, there is nothing innocent about it. There is always a hidden agenda. You need to ask yourself, are they trying to convince you of something? Or are they trying to get important information out of you? What is it do they really want? Because we can't forget that they are two-faced, selfish bastards. But to conclude, if you know you are dealing with a narcissist, you need to be careful with not only what you say to them, but the time you spend listening to them. The tongue is a very powerful weapon and the narcissist uses it to destroy people. The narcissist's gift of persuasion is rather a tool of destruction. 
As always, thanks for listening, and please leave me a comment in the comment section below.